Welcome to the MGuard tutorial video series. In this tutorial, we will show you how easy it is to save an MGuard configuration into the SD card format, and then show you how to upload it into a different MGuard by using the SD card slot. The first thing you'll need is an SD card. It doesn't need to be Phoenix Contact proprietary, but we recommend using a card with 4 gigabytes or less. Insert the SD card into the MGuard device. In order to save the configuration that your MGuard is currently running on the SD card, log in to Web Management. Choose Management, Configuration Profiles. Scroll down until you find the option called External Configuration Storage, MEM. In the blank box, type the root password. This password is meant to protect your configuration from duplicates and unauthorized distribution. Please note, the out-of-the-box root password of an MGuard device is root, all lowercase, R-O-O-T. Now, click the Save button. The MGuard will show you a confirmation screen. Now you can remove the SD card from the original MGuard and insert it in the MGuard device onto which you want to upload. To confirm that you correctly copied the configuration, insert the SD card into a laptop and locate the ecs.tgz file. Warning: Do not change the name or the file extension as this will cause an error. With the configuration saved on the SD card and the SD card inserted in the new MGuard, proceed to power cycle the MGuard device. The power cycle is the only step required to upload the configuration from the SD card. After the MGuard is turned on, the configuration is fully uploaded and running in your new MGuard device. The device can be reached at the corresponding IP address. Stay tuned for more MGuard configuration tutorials.